Hey guys, so this video starts out kind of a little weird um, because it starts off where the last playthrough ended. Uh, originally, it was one long playthrough, uh, but it was just really, really long. I didn't want to post a super long video um, simply because I don't want you guys to have to watch a really, really long video. So I cut it in two to try and make it a bit more manageable. So that's why it starts off kind of weird. Uh, so this is, technically speaking, part 2A of Doctor Who and the Edge of Reality, but we'll go ahead and just call it part 3. So without further ado, here we go. Uh, I'm currently talking about where the next time crystal is, uh, which is in the time cabinet of Magnus Greel. Alright, so London, Magnus Greel. I know that name. He has appeared at some point. Um, Magnus Greel. I think he was part... I think he was a character of the original Doctor Who series. I can't remember... can't remember much about him, though. Well, at least this is... familiar. Nice and peaceful. Hello, TARDIS. Well, then, uh... Eyes on the prize, eh? Don't forget we're trying to locate Manfred Grail's house. Grail... We need something to open that gate. Aha! It looks like it's rusted shut. Like a sonic screwdriver. Okay. I've heard stories about the Cyber Reaper. Ghost stories. Legends. Warnings. Warnings. It never stops upgrading itself. Using parts from other Cybermen. It is literally the best of the best. Or should that be the worst of the worst? Let's not hang around to find out. It is rather odd that absolutely nobody is out at night. Stop it. Stay back. Magnus Creel, I think he might have been a Great news. puppet, actually. It. Or at least the owner of a puppet. That does not bode well. I know I'm saying that a lot, but that for real does not bode well. The fact that the door is just open, that that's that's quite terrifying actually. I I, I don't like that. That that now mm -mm. time to do what heroes do best and do super super stupid things in a brave manner. Sir Manfred Grail, collector of Object Dark. Posh way of saying He's a hoarder when it comes to knickknacks. Yes, more or less. Hello, what's this? Oh, okay, so this is going to look really weird um, to people who don't know what it is. So this is the hand of an Auton. An Auton is basically a mannequin. Uh, so that's, that's what that is. Pick up object. You want me to pick up a sarcophagus? See pages, and I'll check out the sarcophagus. Lucia Minor, mini scopes. Oh, bugger. That's why there's absolutely nobody here. The Weeping Angels, they usually look like stone statues with their ruthless killers. Three things to bear in mind regarding these lonely assassins. One, they're fast. Two, some weird defense mechanism means they turn to stone when they're being observed. Three, don't blink. So that is why there is absolutely nobody here. Oh dear. Weeping Angels. Oh gosh. Why? So, Weeping Angels, I said I would discuss them in the last stream. So, yeah, you got a little bit of that. You got a little bit of stuff from that little page I just found. Weeping Angels are the most ironically named creatures in the universe, and this is according to a comic book of Doctor Who, which is very accurate. Basically, they turn to stone, stone statues of angels, except there's nothing angelic about them, and they don't so much as weep, as much as snuff psychotically. And they are the freakiest things in all of Doctor Who. Let's see... Perfect. 
perfect fit. Wind it up, and let's see if it still works. Good evening, my friend. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Sir Manfred Grail, collector of objets d'art and singular ephemera. I know who you are. And your companion, Emma. That is very bad. Does that surprise you? Yes. It shouldn't. You have invaded my home before. What? Many times. Many times. I'm aware you seek the cabinet of Magnus Green yes. and the crystal within. Yes. You've done well to get this far, mon camarade de guerre. You are brave and resourceful. And so I'll give you one piece of crucial information. Oh dear. And a warning. Although why I should is beyond me, as I cannot hope to profit from it. But this is vital. If you are to reach the cabinet, you must... That's very... Oh, no. Oh, dear, that's very bad. But this is vital. If you are to reach the cabinet, you must... Well? We're back. special lift. Learn its mysteries, and it will take you to the crypts below my home. Here you will find the cabinet and the time crystal which it holds. Your prize. <laughs> but every prize must have its perils. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. <laughs> Where would be the fun if it was as easy as simply finding the cabinet? Yeah, no kidding. No, no, no. That wouldn't do at all. It is protected. By angels. That warning, I promised you. <sighs> the cabinet is guarded by my angels. Ah. Uh... I suspect that since the changes. <sighs> They may no longer be my angels. Yeah, no. I fear they are coming. And will destroy me as they will surely destroy you too, my friend. Okay, my this final is... warning. Whatever you do, don't... No. No. No, you do. Don't blink. Manfred dead now. Manfred big fat boy. But angels still hungry. Angels yep. still hungry. Whew. Angels feast on you. Yep. That's, Angels that's terrifying. Eat on you. Yep. Angels eat you. We're coming to get you. We're I'm terrified. Cry baby bunting. Doctor's friends have gone a hunting. Yeah, no kidding. The precious stones. But the angels eat Say your no. bones. Could you shut this thing up? You eat know what bone. the scary thing is? The voices aren't coming from the phonograph anymore. Where are they coming from? Do me a favor. Give that crank on the phonograph another spin. And let's see what this room will look like when we've left. Okay, gave the thing a spin. Now what do you want me to do? Okay, prepare for some terrifyingness. Well, we've got a swanky new room to explore. Hop to it. Give me the piece of the diary. All right, let's see what we got. This I wonder is... if there might be something helpful which isn't here yet. Yet. Okay, so what what did I miss? The Weeping Angels. You know, I'm qu I'm quite uh, surprised that there's even a picture of the Weeping Angels in here because in the show hey, check out the they, ta they attack you. Try winding it up. Uh, through pictures. So I'm quite I'm quite surprised. Here we go. Oh, another another picture. Oh dear. Oh boy. Look at that huge painting above the fireplace. It's yuck. Bugs. Hello. Let me go back. Come on. I missed it. Okay, so it is different. This is big and shiny. Some though. of these fancy books match the bugs in the painting above the fireplace. Aha, I get it. Okay, so we'll pick that up. Pick that up. When I was up. rummaging through the TARDIS database, I read about an ancient collection of enchanted books that could only be activated by fire. You don't suppose these books could be from that collection, do you? Oh, bugger. 
All right then, do we throw them in the fire then? Whoa! Look at that flame. I think we're on the right track. Okay. And the next one. This one is odd cuz I I'm really not sure of how I feel uh, burning these books. But, you know, Sorry, Grail. It's for the good of the universe. Not quite sure what the point is of this thing. Not expect that. Let's follow it. Free me. Use the flames. What a creepy painting. What? Did that painting just move? Use the flames? How? What? Huh? Do you want me to pick up a candle? Oh dear. Oh, I need to find three candles. Okay. Set me free! Flames are key! This is very bad. This is even weirder than Weeping Angels. Okay, then. I mean, I can think... Of all the creatures in Doctor Who, I can think of, like, Zygons. Bring me home into the light. Unless, of course, it is an angel. That door. Someone just opened it. Hey. Hey. Well, I guess we go back up to the creepy room. Take the flame? No. Ah, the music is wonderful. I, I do applaud you for this. Backing up, backing up. Yikes, sweeping angel, holy cow. Oh dear. Oh yeah, that, that makes nice sense. Yeah, yep, okay. A key. See? Weeping second. angels come to life. The insignia matches the lock on the base of that phonograph. Oh, hello. Why would you give me the key? Why on earth would you give me the key? Okay, don't don't kill me. Don't kill me. Okay, looking again. Disc? You found it. Well played, Sherlock. You have in your hand a trionic lattice, also known as a time key. Which does what? Put it in your pocket for me. I reckon it will come in handy later on. I guess we're getting in that. How about you leave me in the TARDIS for this one? No? Sorry, pal. If I die by Weeping Angel's hand, so do you. Misery loves company! <laughs> Okay, so one of the nice things about Weeping Angels is they don't just kill you necessarily. They move when you're not looking at them, which is terrifying, but they, if they touch you, they'll send you back in time. Not in your own timeline, but back in time. And they'll feed off of what you could have done in your timeline. Your potential Not energy. Useful. Black light setting. Obvs. You've got to get the crystal from the time cabinet, which will mean avoiding the angels. Uh, I can then try to contact the doctor using the crystal's special properties. See if she can get the TARDIS to materialize down here. Hey, you can do this. Onward. To, to terrify this. Oh dear, which way? Well, we're gonna look around first. Okay. Spooky crypt with weeping angels. What? Oh, bugger. Going back, going back. I'm probably gonna run right into one of them. Ah, oh, bugger. According to the TARDIS database, weeping angels have a unique self defense mechanism. Long story short, Keep them in sight, and we should be okay. Oh gosh, that is ah, oh, come on! 
Why? Ah, uh, this. See, I told you this was a horror game. Ah, oh, come on. Okay, so um. So basically. Oh, bugger. So, excuse me. Pardon me. Oh dear. Fact, oh, bugger. Don't blink. Don't take your eyes off them. Yep, I know. They're moving. They are moving. So I know there's some over there. I'm going to die. Oh gosh. Right there. Oh boy. I'm doomed. Uh... Oh gosh. Okay. So, uh, we're just gonna come right over here. Okay, so I think there are a total of three of them. Ah, come on! Doesn't help that this place is a maze. Ooh! Okay, this really stinks, because in order to go that way, I need to look away from that one right there. Ah! Uh... Bye! <laughs> <laughs> ah, there we go. I'm dead. I blinked. Ooh, whoo, that's terrifying. Okay. Um. Well, I'm gonna see if it saves here because that is terrifying, and I don't feel like doing it right now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and stop this video now. Um. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Um. And more horrors ahead. Um, when I play this next. Oh, wow, that's terrifying. Anyway, if you like what you see, please hit subscribe and like. I'm forgetting my lines because it's so freaking terrifying. Um, wow, nice job, uh, Maze Theory and Just Add Water. That That's legitimately terrifying and a great way to do... To do Weeping Angels in a video game. I thought LEGO Dimensions nailed that, but you guys did really well too. That is legitimately terrifying. Thank you so much for watching again. Um, please share with friends and any Doctor Who monsters. No Weeping Angels, please. I don't need that kind of heat. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching.